So the next question uh, that, again, applicants had was, again, like I mentioned, there are so many different types of research. So what type of research would be worth it for like an application from an application point of view? And what about research positions? Um, is a postdoctoral researcher worth it? And, you know, what kind of research position should we ideally be looking for? So we'll go on to the next slide where I've kind of laid out what are the different research options. And this is what I could find if there are paid research coordinators. So you kind of uh, join a research division and you're the one handling all the clinical trials in that division. There have been some applicants, you know, I've been able to, I interviewed um, maybe a year or two ago and that's what uh, that applicant was doing. Now, being a coordinator, you have to realize that it doesn't mean that you'll end up in the publications. Uh, so you can have to decide whether that research effort is worth it. Maybe you can also do something on the side, but a coordinator basically means like you're handling all the, you know, the clinical trial data. You're not really publishing anything. So, you know, it's very hard to understand what's going to be the research outcome. But if you have a clear idea, if you and the mentor work well, you can have something else on the side that you can write and get a publication or, and so forth. Postdoctoral research fellow. So this is a very uh, formal position where you kind of basically work one-on-one -on -one with the mentor and basically help them what in whatever research that's happening in their division. And there's a research assistant. Again, you know, that's kind of very similar to research fellow, but it's kind of, you know, a little bit more loose kind of a term. And of course, voluntary research assistant is the one that, you know, a lot of IMGs might be doing, which is perfectly fine. You know, I know it's helped uh, the programs uh, or the mentors love it because they don't have to pay. But for you uh, as a residency applicant, I still feel getting that experience, showing it in your CV and helping improve your chances is still work. Yeah.